Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function f. So the number of arbitrary function is 1 and that is f. So we are going to use only the first order derivative that is dou z by dou x which is named as p and dou z by dou y which is named as q. Let's take this as the first expression and we are going to differentiate this one partially with respect to x. So we are going to get dou z by dou x equal to since it is a partial derivative with respect to x, y square is constant so which is 0 and 2 is written as it is f derivative is f dash and all the inner functions should be written as it is and as per the chain rule this inner function derivative should be written here 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square since y is constant log y itself constant so its derivative is 0 so rearranging this p equal to 2 f dash of 1 by x plus log y into minus 1 by x square let's take this expression as the second in the same way, we are going to differentiate 1 partially with respect to y. So, other side, it is dou z by dou y. Now, y square derivative will become 2y plus 2 into f derivative is f dash. Inner function should be written as it is. Then, as per the chain rule, we have to find the differentiation of the inner function and write it here. X is constant because we are doing partial derivative with respect to y. So, 0 and log y is 1 by y. Now, we can carry this 2y to this side. So, q minus 2y equal to 2 into f dash of 1 by x plus log y into 1 by y which is termed as the third expression. Now, we are going to divide second expression by third expression. So, the numerator it is p and denominator it is q minus 2y. When we divide, this entire term gets cancelled. So, we are going to write only the remaining terms which is minus 1 by x square by 1 by y. Since it is a fraction, we can take a reciprocal. So, p by q minus 2y equal to minus 1 by x square into y by 1. So, we got p by q minus 2y equal to minus y by x square. Cross multiplying, we get x square p equal to minus qy plus 2y square. We have to rearrange in the form of capital P small p plus capital Q small q equal to R. So, writing the first term that is x square p then q term should be the second one. I have to take it to this side. So, plus y into q and on the other side it is 2y square. This is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary function.